much. I'm live. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. As we step into the universal energies, welcome in some sanctuary. Oh man, I had I was listening to my uh, song. I just want to hear one. I just want to hear him say one thing. Yeah. I just want to hear him say one thing. That's all. That's all I wanted to. That's all I wanted to uh, hear him say. In the great divide, y'all know everything is everything. I am the Arcana Angel. Stepping into the universe of energy, air, water. Y'all been drinking y'all water? Fire and earth. I was excited. Make sure my ring up, you know, they don't call in this. I'm on live. But uh, welcome in, welcome in. Give an honor to the most high. Inviting in the spirit of wisdom and truth that this reading is great for us. That choose to vibrate high. Right. Remember this reading is either for you, them, or somebody that's connected to you. The Lion Blessing and Beauty Sleep. So when the Beauty Sleep came up, it was um, a lot about, uh, I hated to say it, but somebody putting something in somebody's food or somebody medicating to um, sleep. It's blocking somebody's clarity. Somebody's vision, somebody's being, uh, um, how can I say, controlled by what some, somebody put in your food, period. It says that enchantress is uh, eating secretion. So I don't know if uh, whoever is, whoever doing the serving, yeah, they the one that's doing it. I like the um, beauty sleep part because that's the, um, you know, that's when our body rejuvenates. And each of came out in the pre-energy shuffle and it was all of our body consciousness and um, consciousness, flesh consciousness. But I definitely wanted to do a health reading with the beauty sleep because when we're asleep, that's when our body rejuvenates. When it heals. So I got a couple of um, notes for different times that different organs heal. So make sure that you drop it in the chat if you want me to uh, look up anything specific for you. But we're just about to um, run through the signs and see what comes up for everybody. Um, what times did the organs heal? And specifically, I'm going to run through the signs and see what you need to um, maybe go get checked out. If anything, if you know, but I know a lot of uh, people have been suffering with health issues lately and because uh, I've been hearing other readers talk about it. So we are a community and we want to heal as a whole, right? That's part of the blessing part, but God's favor. But it's the lion. I heard uh, <laughs> nobody move, nobody get hurt. It's like God is working. That's the lion blessing. It's God doing it. It's God's favor, God's reward. So whatever God's reward for you or them or um, somebody in your environment is about to come out today, we'll pull that. We're going to start with the health. Overall health. 
because it came out um, also in the energy uh, about the pores. Clear, oh, the frog energy. Frog energy. And usually, we think of the frog as taking a leap. This frog isn't leaping. This frog is waiting, and the rain is coming down on it. It's being rejuvenated, right? It's um, actually cleansing. That's what frogs do. They live on land, but they're attracted to the water to cleanse. Um, if you have any source of water um, that's natural, it'd be a perfect time to go to it. Walk in the rain. Uh, I know we got rain coming down here in the South Bromwich. I know I'm still really at Cornbread Bed. I'm in the South, but it's rain coming. Spirit said, Yo, soul go sing a song too. And that's when the Crowds are singing is when the rain comes. So if you hear a whole bunch of croaking, uh, there's rain coming. Rain symbolizes emotion. So I feel like we're getting uh, ready to be strengthened. So we're on the road to success, right? And this is the time to, we're about to make positive moves forward. So Spirit is saying, um, it came out in the energy that it's time to write those things down like uh, Habakkuk 2 uh, and 2. Write it down, make it plain. The master build. Write it down, make it plain. They came up in the flyers. And the energy, it have, it's shifting. It's shifting. As you can see, my hair is cut. So you know, um, if you've been a subscriber, you know when the hair changes, the energy is definitely going up. Right? So um, you can tell the energy is shifting. Old cycles are ending or have ended either over the last past three days, today, or over the next three days. But this is the next, over the next three days, it's about, you're about to see some positive movement forward if you make it. If you take a sincere effort to be honest, like, I recommend that in all your engagements um, for the next three days, be honest. Like, even if it hurt, you know what I'm saying? Don't be nobody no dream. This ain't the time to do that. Yeah, and I feel like if you are honest in the spirit, this and that's where he's got to give us a well-deserved reward. Because the lion's blessing, God's blessing, that's dharma. That's a universal gift. That's grace. Karma came out in the energy of today under the nine justice. Right. Hammering came out. Hammering out was not significant. Changing those things, resisting. And on building under that's what this waxing crescent is. First quarter, we just moved out of the waxing, moving into the first quarter. These are groundbreaking. This is where the cleansings come, where you write it down, make it plain, break the ground, make the first step towards. You should start seeing. Uh, results from the new moon that we just had. Just start to see results within the next three days. So I think we're going rags to riches. Some people are meeting. Uh, <laughs> When I was some people meeting God for the very first time. Actually, it's quite the same after the line. Remember, this is God's just so he coming and looking at somebody. It's a rancher that somebody that's at a crossroads. And I was getting that energy. Meet me at the crossroads. I don't want to die. We, um, in the last video, walk with God. You don't have to die to walk with God, to meet God. Keep looking at us. We just at a crossroads to see what we go do. 
the cold. Right now, we um been learning how to heal, being humble, being wise, uh, staying focused, waiting, with to see when the strike, right? Just been protecting our investments, um, continuing to love. That's why I feel like a lot of us is getting God's blessing, His grace. Sanction and support. It's like, man, that beauty sleep energy is like somebody sleeping on you or you sleeping on somebody, and it's an excellent specimen. It's something that's going to bring something or somebody that's going to bring well being. Somebody sleeping. Also, I feel like somebody's trying to ride the uh, wave because the star came out right next to the uh, horse. This is trying to be a strong bond, so you better be aware, right? This is a time spirit is giving you sensitive your dreams. He's saying, be aware of your dreams. And with this one, it says, it's a sensitive, like, a lot of people don't know their spiritual gifts. Check out the description box and email me, email me any question. Uh, I can help you uh, hone in on your spiritual gifts. The spirit said they sensitive right now. And you might not even know. You might think you're going crazy, thinking you're hearing stuff. But are you hearing what you're hearing? Are you seeing what you're seeing? I know one chick told me, um, actually, my book thing says she said she see dead people, but it scared her. But a gift from God is not to be feared. It's actually to be taken as an honor. Whatever you do, right, you're supposed to use your gifts. Self, whatever God say. Remember, we on a mission from God. He told us to go towards, with the unicorn spirit, he told us to go towards our um with the beam. And it looked like it's rain on that unicorn. It's like uh, I was getting to it'll be tell moment after tell moment, one thing after the other. This week leading up to this lion's blessing. See, and when he said nobody move, nobody get hurt, it's like he telling us to focus. Keep going where we're going. We keep focusing. We keep transforming. We keep following our intuition. It's strong right now. Remember, we sensitive right now to our intuition. Everything is down. We chasing it down. We got the lizard in this sight. The one that's been flaking on you. Somebody ain't been coming through, making plans, and ain't been coming through. And then you got the horse in his sight. Somebody's trying to ride your wave or ride on your back, not uh, be fur with you in the energy. You even got the star because there's some people that's superficial. Remember who you're doing it for. There's some people that's gossiping. If you gossip it, if you're being superficial, and then weak, trying to ride somebody's wave. Or add more uh, weight to them, and they, you know they already under strength. You hearing things or seeing things, and you're not for sure what it is. Yeah, God is on your road. You're on your road. Stop keep looking. Line. <laughs> I wish I hadn't uh, lost those notes to the Jesus Gen and. Choose video, I have to go back, but I did tap in a little bit with it. And he said, He 
spirit said he's doing it by himself. That's why he said nobody move. So don't move, don't get hurt. I'm about to make spirit mad. <laughs> uh, I like it like that, though, because that's the confidence and knowing that if we're growing and we de determine to lay down roots in the right uh, direction and focus on building and laying old things aside and being honest and being even flexible in our mission, remembering to stay uh, loving unconditionally, Remember to believe in ourselves and protecting our energy like Kung Fu fighting. Yeah, stepping out of doubt and actually nurturing our feelings ourselves, our people that's connected to us. I could go on and on with this endless endless. I could go on and on like a two short song. You know what I'm saying? Should I too short? I got I had a new segment coming up and it's called Blow the Whistle and uh, I might have to do an intro using it if you don't mind. Short. Let's get the uh, hill. Let's get the hill that's just coming out. We're going to run down uh, Airy and Posse. So uh, let's see. Show us what we need to see for this beauty scene. Show us what we need to see. So definitely, you see how they meditating. Definitely, uh, practice your breath work with lungs. We talked about that before. We giving birth, right? So we've been taking Lamaze classes. So it's all about um, look at a look up Lamaze uh, classes and start there. You can always go to the doctor as well, especially if you know you have problems with lungs or you smoke or something. Let's see what we have for. We have for cancer. Cancer. You got judgment. This is your circulatory system. There's something about timing. So um, I don't know what anybody. Oh, timing, circulatory system. I think I might have. Oh yeah, circulation. It says that you need to spend time with loved ones. Care on yourself, relax and read. And the best hours to do those are from 7 p.m. to 7. I mean, from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Yeah. So maybe you need to adjust your uh, schedule a little bit, Council. Let's see. <laughs> Oh, lungs. Who got lungs? Taurus got lungs. It says that um, 
you need to be asleep for sure between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. Because if you are restless between those hours, that is something that is in your life that's unbalanced. Or you having grief that you need to start working and healing. So, that's the Taurus. So, let's say you just did Cancer, Taurus, Aries. lung problems, arteries, veins, blood, capillaries. So if you have a heart problems, it could have something to do with circulation or um, your heart. So go get a check up and tell them to check everything that I just did. Specifically, that's underlying issues. So they might not be anything that started yet. But you got the moon and you got the dragon. See, yeah, something is just now starting and you've been thinking about it. So whatever it is that's on your mind, um, it's about to like, I guess, flare up or something because they howling. Like it might be uh, painful, but the moon is uh, feet, is um, legs, and you know what? If you got that um, circulatory uh, the arteries and the veins of your legs are hurting, it could have something to do with those veins and arteries of your capillary, right? Or your heart. The heart is associated. The legs and the feet, swelling, especially if you have a swelling, uh, and just look at that foot problem. You know? So uh, make sure you go to the doctor and get you a check up. It's just now starting, so then like that be um, good. But it can progress rapidly. Libra, so truly. Gonna get a full body check up for sure. This is genital and your throat. So, um, throat is feeling a little raspy or sore or start drinking tea. Whatever you need to do to soothe your uh, throat. But this is going to get a full body checkup, especially your general. Feminine organs. Maybe you need to do it as a flex. Wow. Then the fortune uh, energy. So be aware. Watch your diet. That means Scorpio. Scorpio, what do we need? Scorpio, yeah, Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So something you need to take out of your diet. You need to be very careful. You're about to be accident prone. Um, especially over the next, like I said, tower moment after tower moment. So um something that you've never been able to digest. You might have digestive uh, problems. Like, I guess that's growing up, but it's real like it's just anxiety. Your uh, mind. Mind, you worried about the timing, the timing or something. Maybe traveling. It's not a Yeah, you need to detoxify, detoxify, um, especially around 3 and 5 p.m. It's perfect to eat something salty. Detoxify with something salty. Hey, Scorpio. Sagittarius, I'm going to need to see for Sagittarius so they can get them some good old beauty sleep. Okay. 
so they have the best advantage to benefit them. Oh, uh, advantage spirit said advantage over being dead. Lord. Oh my God. Um, Sagittarius, you got below. So they make me feel like that's a feminine issue. Oh. Yeah, so one out here. Flow with the world for, or somebody's excessively sweating, or somebody having diarrhea. Or um, somebody's large intestines. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely, especially if large intestines, because it says you need to might have a bowel movement, or maybe, yeah, you probably need to have a bowel movement because for large intestines, it said between 5 a.m. and 7 a.m., that um, drinking warm water will help you have that bowel movement. So you probably just stop that right now. And that's probably what's making you stiff and poor and yeah. It's your guys' business. Uh, yeah. Oh, there it is. It's the digestive system. Especially if you're a masculine energy. Capricorn, 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 Capricorn. That was the devil, but it didn't come all the way out. So you might want to get, get a prostate exam if you're a man or a gynecology exam if you were a woman. It didn't come out that way. We need to see for The moon. That's Legs, feet, and uh, foot problems. The moon. With the hermit. So. Your back, you have back problems that's causing your legs and your um, feet to swell. There's something about intestines. What did I say? What did I say about intestines? Oh no, that wasn't for you. You got the moon. Just a mile. If it's a family member to uh, communicate with, reach out to somebody older, maybe an older uh, gentleman, maybe, or your older gentleman. But uh, it's reach out to your family. You need to reach out to your family. This immune system and uh, the menstrual system in. Oh, this one, uh, Capricorn. Yeah, you got the high priestess, the immune system, and the devil. Yes, and, and that could be um, your kidney, your bladder. The genitalia, but you have the intuition. It's like whatever you've been thinking, you know, right? You spot on with this stuff. It's great. Chest, throat, and head. Chest, throat, and head. Aquarius. Let's see what's up. Aquarius and health. You got a lot on your mind. Body in one place, mind in another. It's just a uh, race. This, to me, this is racing thoughts. See how his thoughts is all jumbled up, and that came out in the energy. 
remember to uh stop and write cleanse i feel like you need to uh write write it write it out where is that uh, writing oh it was the pliers the pliers energy came out uh with it um uh, born broke and died rich so you could be definitely thinking about uh money like how i'm gonna put my plan together my investment however you gonna make it come together so you don't have so you can die rich and say just write it all down cut to the wire put it all down every wait on that the two to the master deal and I was trying to write writing a lot today. Remember, this is taking the steps to be successful. So you're racing thoughts. It's like you already know. You just need to focus it down and write it all down. And then it won't be jumbled up. You can come out in the reading uh, about the writing again, but that's just off the top. It says detail orientated. You very detail orientated. Just this underlying energy. Drink water because I'm seeing liver or kidney. That's the patient too. Underlying energy. Uh, Aquarius. So be aware. Pisces. Pisces, final sign. Pisces. Then we go get into these lines. Listen, you get some beauty sleep. Wake up. I, I know I woke up feeling like another girl this morning. You understand me? It's like my whole thing uh, shifted. I woke up. Yeah, look. I woke up like another girl. You put the girl in the higher point. Be fearless because he's in the, uh, the steps, right? That's why you got to subscribe and hit that bell because I'm giving you the steps. That's part of the beauty sleep energy. Giving you the vision. Lord's favor. You can teach you before you get ate up out here in these spiritual streets. Because uh, under that beauty sleep energy, under the sleep energy, is, has something to do with that gummy, gritty stuff that's a creep from the eyes, from the corner of the eyes. It's like the, some people's visions. We, we do get a little vision, a uh, blocked vision at times. I see you guys, priestess. This communes is Underlying energy, the hermit. It's kind of like, you know. Our priestess immune system. Menstrual. So if you a woman, it's definitely, if you wonder why you've been acting out uh, snippy and uh, step on them. That's why. <laughs> why you ain't been giving up second chances? That's why. It's all about your menstrual. It's just hitting you a little strong. Back problems. Better be careful because cardiac arrest. Uh, you be the stress pop. Uh, pressure bus lights. Might uh, talk to your gynecologist about something that can help you balance your hormone. Yeah, like, yeah. If you a man, you don't have no business acting like a female. And if you a man, you need to check your immune system, strengthen your immune system. There's some things in the description box that will help uh, with that. If you go back to my older uh, videos, then you can see it's different herbs for different things. I'm always detoxifying, always building, and fighting, and protecting. 
So under that Chiron energy, I'm gonna pull the health card, and this is gonna be health, the overall uh, energy of the reading. The health of the reading. What do we need to focus on? I got the health of this reading. So it shows me Yes, a lot of um, people watching in front of the scenes and behind the scenes. With the um, page of ones right beside that page of ones, it's like um, some, you the ideal person for some, and for some, they don't believe me. For most, right, the ones that's for you is not as many one two three three for you one two three four five five against you you outnumber for the ones that's for you and the ones that's for you is um different these people act the same but that's why they flock to you or you flock to them because they different if you conform you flock to them if you the one that stand out then they flock to you it's a, a heart spirit on here. Remember, that's the people that's trying to rise your way. If you the horse, the sun, the consciousness, yeah, they carry it out. They each body being body conscious, flesh conscious. That thing, uh, conscious. Sensitive to your senses, your uh, spiritual, your material consciousness. The whole, remember? The whole. Oh, this for everybody. And y'all did. Of course, the horse, if you open, if you woke, because remember, you the sleep came out, so either you sleeping, some people sleeping on it, some people sleeping uh, 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 against you on you. But if you ain't sleep on yourself, you ain't standing, you gaining momentum. Right, you gain force. That's the person that ain't giving up. And then we got the moon. And I'm just wondering what was coming uh, after, after the person. Yeah, that's the moon. The either or the or. See, he holding them back. The either or the or. This the ancestors' mirrors. This is a a, a master a page. But he got the gifts. He refining it, accepting it. Okay. And then all these people are uh, behind. Me. You got the know. So you are if you woke, if you attract all these different kind of people, right? People that other people wouldn't necessarily accept because you know the ones that's talking about you, even though it's more, but of course we, we know we're on the narrow road. We know we're on the narrow road. That's what give me confirmation I'm doing something right. If it's too many people involved, y'all love me too much. I know y'all don't really love me. Overall health is our connections, y'all. It's decision time to what and who we really gonna commit to. It's all it's also giving me a will of fortune because the energy of the um this first quarter moon. I don't even know if you can see that. Can you see that? The energy of the first quarter moon is Remember the first starts, the first steps of the consequences and actions that you took back then. See, now that's what we just uh, okay, look at God transition this thing, getting into the whole karma of it. I could it be karma? Yeah, it is. It's on the way. It's 
on the way. That's what Spirit said. You better be honest. Love beget love. Hate beget hate. A punch beget a punch. You know what I'm talking about? Whatever you give them out, whatever they give you about, you got to get back. Or whatever you give them out, you got to get back. And guess who's doing it? The lion. The mouse of Jesus' energy, him by himself. He said, no, you don't move and don't get hurt. Okay, that's why the frog ain't moving. Remember, usually when we see the frog, the frog is... um. Leaping, but now nah, spirit is saying, Refresh yourself, do your cleansing, do your clearing, do your healing, do your beauty, do the things that please your senses. It's time to refresh you because all these people, all these things that was talking against you, talking their mouths wide open, all these people and, and entities. That was against you. Spirit said he got this rest. Right, this is the time to write it down, make it plain. Because you're about to feel who really love and support you. Okay. Spirit said he got to connect you with the one you love. You got to be a rich impact. So you got to be free. You got to. It's like the bridesmaid getting ready and knowing to herself now oils. I know I've been using a lot of oils. And baby, it's an attraction and energy. So make sure you're doing the things that God gives you to do. Keep yourself sacred and an attraction, uh, energy and protect. Right? To sanctify yourself, sit yourself apart. See, that's where the cobra uh, spirit in. See, when I first saw it, it was like this, the cobra, right? And I was like, man, the cobra can eat either one of those, right? So it's like something coming in, something smoking. But the cobra is the God. See, the cobra is the special God, being a humble, knowing it all. They say this is with the cobra, it's a perfect time to take a class. Remember, when the student is ready, the teacher appears. So hit that subscribe. Don't hesitate. Don't hesitate to come in. Don't hesitate to email me. Call me. Text me. Everything in the description box. See, the cobra is ever loving and ever protecting. That's giving me this uh, Judah, this line of Judah energy. Now, because remember, his blessings, he got the he was looking at all of that, and God is God of many places, many things. That shifting energy uh, came out, and um, oh, what was it? Uh, what energy was it? I wonder. Oh my God! Oh, it came out, and I wanted to bring it up, but just no um. Oh, Jesus, gin, and juice. The gin. That's by the curve which lands. Bring us back to we're gonna make sure he's gonna give us the confirmation we need. But just be aware out here. That's why he's saying pay attention to what you know. That you know that you know that you know surrender to the divine surrender to your intuition
this is it to go either way, karma or dharma. He can rescue you and break the chain and you well deserve to move you into financial gain and uh being the ideal partner in business and in love and in uh friendships just the ideal person the ideal creation or you can continue to go on in the dark in a reflection a shadow of what you really are, are made for Uh, uh, spirit is. Now, the God thing God, he was looking from a distance like a lion, right? Now he on you. He on you. You're trying to see if you're going to choose his reward and follow the knowledge that he's dropping in your spirit. Or if you go have a big ego. And try to take on you know the big hit because under this first quarter moon phase it's all about you this is personal this ain't about what nobody did to you it's all about what you did you say rest assured it's personal and he's been telling us to take it personal <laughs> spirit said take it personal You're trying to see where you're going in the crossroads. The tra tarantula is the crossroad. You go claim your life or you go lose your life. It's the frog energy is a, a perfect opportunity to decide what is it you got to do. Perfect energy to decide what you got to do. You go surrender because he got his sights on you. <laughs> All four elements is represented out here. It's a growth, dying, sowing, and harvest. So the wheel is spinning. Oh, the wheel spinning. The wheels. Ooh. Okay, so let's begin to start. That's the hill. So we're going to incorporate that. That's not in that moon. And if you can move the moon, move the moon, move the moon, move the moon. It's fun is you know you see it and you feel it. Right. So some people respect in trauma, and some people respect in dharma. So we go pulling on both of those. You know, it's the overall health of the thing. Put these away. I want to move it a little bit. So, I want to know where do we start? Where do we start? I want to be listening. Let's see what energy is at the top. What's God's plan like? Because um, today is the energy of divine. Oh, that's, that's a little loud, ain't it? It's that frog energy. It's building up. Okay. Yeah. Rest, rest assured. It's God's plan. It's God's intervention. I'm just to put something. Um... Let's put something on the line. Let's put something on the line and see where he's making this trans uh, forming. See, and the line energy, so the line energy inspires some and intimidates some. So let's pull and see uh, where you're going to, uh, how, how can you? What's the, what's the fuel, what's the source to inspire what should you do to inspire? Let's see what we need to do, we need to, do to inspire. To get God's blessing. The lion's blessings. Two of pentacles and six of 
Lord. I like the two of Pentacles in the uh, sister story because it's all about um, your routine and moving towards a uh, better mind, healthy. Remember, six of swords represents health. Right? So if the two um, of pentacles is all about routine, so this is developing, uh, oh, I don't know. Can you see this? Can you see this? This is all about developing a healthy routine. But see, by the two of pentacles being in reverse, because clearly those ladies' heads are um, in reverse, that means that there's just some things that need to be cleaned up. Right? There's some things that need to be cleaned up. So this is a decision between two things. Remember, that's what Spirit said. He watching. You at the crossroads, we're giving you an opportunity to rest, reflect, rejuvenate, use everything. Because remember, he gave us the tools before the tent. So you, them, or somebody in your energy have a decision to make, and God is watching. You see, God in the middle of this, say God alone, the lion energy, the lion, the lion of Judah. The transformation in the middle of the transformation. I feel like the decision um have been made. Two of Pentacles in reverse. Right, not juggling anymore. Getting stable, getting healthy, developing a healthy routine. I guess um, I'm going to say uh, in financial business, business routines, family routines, because those are pinnacles. That's all about uh, your relationship, your marriage, um, close family ties, like um, your inheritance, your ancestors. It's like almost giving me to continue to focus on healing those generational uh, curses, laying down those healthy roots for a pinnacle. Yeah, against saving and the nine of swords. Yeah, against saving. I feel like not resisting, um, not resisting going for it, right? Those thoughts, remember, uh, I think I see hesitation come out in the energy today. So it was like either somebody's trying to hesitate or um, you need to hesitate. Remember, he said just relax. So I feel like you need to hesitate because the nine of pentacles is right here. We would all come together playing with the ace of pentacles. Remember, God's plan, God's plan is the ace of pentacles. It's like holding that resistance, cleaning up what you didn't miss that. Remember being honest about what you need physically as far as money and support from your family and your friends. Money in your past. Ten pinnacles, that's legacy. And it's right over this uh, swan energy. So I feel like some people get upset they didn't have to do it alone. But I feel like you doing it alone is what is causing spirit to pass forward you. It give you this well deserved inheritance, this up there life. You got six, six out here. That's unconditional love. But it's also having the opportunity to redirect your past from um how to uh change your mind. It's like this is still giving you a chance to change your mind, but you down to the moment because this strike quickly is giving you a chance to make the right decision. Nine of swords. 
Nine and three is four. That's three swords. Yeah, that's beware of the uh, heartbreak. If you hold on too long to something that you know that you should be doing by yourself. Remember, everybody can go. Holding on to um, agitation and not being enthusiastic. Because a lot of it, we're supposed to be here with the uh, scripture. says he give you the desires of your heart when you delight yourself in him. So a lot of people are thinking that their purpose is a burden. And I did get there with the blessing and the curse energy. That's how um, it came out, the blessing and the curse. Because the lion's blessing, whatever he bless, whatever he with, that's what it's going to be. Hmm. That's too much. That's too much. But I like it though. Because he's going to give you new jobs to use. Because remember, we asked, um, what's go? Uh, inspire people. Our careers are going to inspire people. The jobs that you're doing, it could be new, but uh, making people feel welcome, uh, paying back people, yes, if you owe somebody, I don't care if it's a dollar or somebody about to a beer, buy them one back. That's going to help build your network. That's going to help you build material gain. Remember, you can't be God given. So you can't uh, stagnate it and stay in a lack frame of mind. I have a chemical. You got to save, but you got to pay back what you owe, regardless of how big or little your chemicals is, because that's how you're going to get them. Giving, releasing, the karma, the karma. Now look, the ace of swords and the ace of wands. That's an 11. That's the truth and a way you can move forward. And this is the final thing. Remember, God is giving the opportunity. Uh, he already watched you. You did what you did. 11, you did what you did. And God has to step in. That's why you don't have a chance anymore. Somebody don't have a chance. To move ahead in something anymore. Nobody don't have a chance to, no matter what we do. Remember, he said nobody move, nobody get hurt. Ace of Wands uh, in reverse, that's not moving. That's not trying to impress. Don't be trying to impress nobody. It's nothing you can do. But be sincere and be honest about your movements forward and prepare for what's on the way because you know the seeds that you've been sowing. Now, you know the seeds you've been sowing. I don't know. <laughs> ah, 11, 11. Yeah, we know the seeds. And yeah, that's why uh, Spirit got that proud energy. You see how that night, how he looking back? He can feel it on him. You know what you did. You know what you did to me. You know what you did to them. They know what they did to you. Yeah, they can feel it. It's a cook. They, it's in their mind. They have dreams. They can feel it. Somebody is not comfortable at all because they came in the energy with that um true grit energy. And remember, beauty sleep. Somebody's trying to charm you before you go to sleep. Cool. Or uh, somebody's trying to charm you in your dream. Visions, visions and dreams. But at 11, 11, they know. They know. The only thing missing is the pinnacle, the eighth of pinnacle. And that's the thing that's going to come. Uh, that's the karma. That's the... Uh, the Dharma, that's God's gift for somebody, an ace of pentacles. Brand new stage for somebody, whoever it is, the unicorn, 
that's connecting back to the divine, that's connecting into the spiritual uh, gift. Whoever feel welcome, feel like they in a new place, whoever took the leap to start a new job. Mm -hmm. Whoever been living between one's name, whoever been saving, yeah. whoever been fighting, God done made a decision on your behalf. Okay, it's over for whatever was causing you um whatever was causing you pain. It's the cycle completed. Somebody was draining your energy. Somebody was leaving you empty. You put it in it. But the truth is, receive your highest potential. But if I am, it's a chapter 11 11. Look, 11 11. Now the scores are in it. Now it's on the way. When God handled, remember I told you, whatever uh, had happened, uh, the lion's blessing is on the way. For the one that's Walking with God, go check up and walk with God in the garden because you know what you know what you know. Yeah. You're saying it's about to be some people um, getting improved health in their finances and their bodies, and some people it's just to get some goodbyes, or you're going to have to say goodbye to clearing the energy. Oh, Mm -mm -mm. A lot of family secrets uh, coming out there, kind of chemical. Just three battles, family secrets. Family uh, secrets, where yeah, people in the family are trying to break up people, partnership. Oh my God. Mm -mm -mm. People feeling like they know how to live your life better than you know how to live yours. It's all the energy that um, spirit gave me. Uh, this transformation, they're going to know who God is. <laughs> uh, every new Shabbat, the Lion of Judah, Stalking. So, as we see um, where we can inspire what we need to do to become inspirational, and let's see where um, it is this intimidating. The mask is about us. You see what's intimidating. The mask is about us. It's like a crossroads. It's like a crossroads. It's a philosophy. The energy you just read. You see what's a crossroads. So you won't be able see this. They did energy. I don't like this song coming in. If you let the cross go, so you won't be lonely. And you see the body. But that's the transformation energy. That's the line of uh, Judy energy. Everybody can go. And shout out to my boy, Gates. Who my love and respect. Because that's the hardest thing. When somebody down and they might be. And then that be the process. Somebody, um, literally, the crossroads. This is the time to make successful changes to move and to have that garden video. This is a girl walking with us, she's hovering over us, not hovering over us. And we can, he's gonna see if we go follow our intuition, if we can stay on the journey, make successful changes. Some of the time, make successful changes already. And that's why he said, don't even move, don't even, look, don't even move, don't even do nothing. You're going to fight your battle. It's 
this or else they are not. And we did all that in the physical, but remember, they weren't stealing from you. Your partnership, your divine uh, partner don't belong to you. You don't belong to them. You belong to God. I tell my boo all the time, you like, you mind, I be like, I belong to God. You know what I'm saying? So whatever you do unto me, you do unto God. I'm his property. I'm God's property. But I, uh, and I was jamming uh, him today. Yeah, he was a gift in the school. He does properly. Let me see what intimidates them. Right off the bat, if you can overcome or by yourself if you have to. And you get beat through every time, no matter what is thrown at you, you come back as a warrior. I just have to tell a, a friend of mine. They can, no matter if they try to push you out, keep you at. You know what I'm saying? You you can be a part of the group or whatever. It's like, we don't want to be a part of the group. We have fun. Put us out there like Jungle Book in the woods. We're going to come back needing a pet. This is uh, why they intimidated because no matter what, what or form, it didn't prosper. It didn't prosper. And, and honestly, I'm thinking it drained their energy with that nine and that seven. You didn't get nothing from me. Everything they said towards you came right back that corner. Oh, we can see what God got on. He's watching everything. He said, Hi, you see, have you ever seen a cobra? Look at a cobra when you have nine nine right beside each other. A lifestyle change. It can go either way. So that's why Spirit is saying, under this influence right now, you need to be honest and make you showing love. Unconditional love, you need to have your mental thoughts, mental thoughts hang up, clear your thoughts. That's why he told us clear your emotion, clear your mind, write it down. You say you're on the road to success, it's right in front of you. But it's the thing that you got to get rid of the fires, it's the communication you got to get rid of, whether it's talking down on yourself or whether it is uh, you engaging in gossip and other people talking down on other people, but you got to have a rich house. Rich house. Rich house. Yeah, that's what's intimidating. If you bounce back, you can't you stop the hustle, keep going, you know, start getting laid down roots. That's why you move into the E11. That's why you get to go and step into your personal power because it was God's plan all along to illuminate it, to expose the snake. That's why I said I read the E crumbs with bones. <laughs> This is me right here. I'd rather eat crumbs with bones than snakes with snakes. Snakes with snakes. So what side of the karma or the dharma are you on? You see, part of the beauty of it all is sustaining generational gifts, land, business, kids. Bridging the past and the present. Okay. The hustle don't stop. It keeps going. You can lose your life. It so keeps going, going, going. Get your being. Because it's a soul mission. Remember, this is the healing of the complete you. You got to get some beauty sleep because you're an excellent person. You, the, you, you. The best one. They sleep on you. And, and it's making you dead and, and numb. Or you sleep on somebody and it's making them dead and numb. The spirit says, stay hold to your vision. Sense it. Sense your vision. Sense your vision. And see, I was going to ask with the crowd, like, what's coming after uh, what we're going to leap into. 
And remember, I told you, what did it say on her? Grow. Some people go into growth. Some people go die. Some people go harvest. And some people go start sowing. This the this the deciding factor of where do you want to go? Where do you want to lead to? What you want to lead to? What you want to refine? This is refining time. Well, it's about to be. That's why you got to be honest about your mission, honest about where you want to go, honest about what you see, honest about what you're trying to connect, get rid of things that you connected to. Remember, it's all about connectivity. You're holding your own, though. You're intimidated about that. Why else do you intimidate? Yes, because you. Look, you're entitled. I told you, you're the number one choice. Uh, going for that number one spot, it's an upgrade. They see you upgrading. Multiple victories. This why I um, went from just the little Laurel to embellish Laurel. So you already something. You know what I'm saying? They see it. You about to, uh, you, you, you're being guided to something better. That's why I said is watching you real close. As soon as you mess up, you go uh, strike. Wow, I love that two of pentacles upright. This is stable. This is doing it on one foot or on top behind your back. This is um having people to help you. Remember, he said it's all about the connectivity with that uh, tarantula energy, choosing the uh to, to follow your intuition and then God rewarding you because you had a crossroad. He just wanted to see which way you're gonna go. Which way you gonna go? That Jesus and uh, gin and juice came out is uh, how you go add flavor. Do you want to add flavor? Are you gonna add honor? Because you entitled these entitlement cards, like you already that. That's why uh, you here. Don't you got to protect your crime playlist. That's why you already here. The Cobra Spirit is uh, urging you to take a class, take action. You don't even got to go pay for that. You can just go to a playlist and start. It's all about commitment. What are you going to commit to? Whatever you commit to, that's what's going to, uh, uh, how do I say, affect your richness. It's going to have a rich impact on your life. If you're going to be able to be connected to people that you can utilize your skills, that promote unity, that help you balance your work and your life, not gonna help you overworking seven days a week, two days a week, right? That they can uh, still provide you security for you and your family and give you time to focus on yourself and not just babies, right? You might be feeling like you're in your feelings, but remember, it's facts over feeling. You got to know the soul truth. This is still saying, you know, remember who you is. Because you on the way to something, a whole lot of everything that you've been through, all the toils and labors you've been through. That's why God, that's why the lot, that's why he's right here. You his. Look how he's protecting you. So you can go holding everything back. Holding everything back. You don't even know it's going to come no more. You just be well protected. Well, particularly, it could be a positive shift on the way a positive event is about to happen. It's going to increase a whole bunch of people's spiritual awareness, yours or theirs, or somebody around you. Don't be surprised if somebody comes to tell you. But that's why you uh, intimidate them, because they know you the truth. They know you was born entitlement. You was born for the throne, right? You literally have royalty in your uh, bloodline. That's why they part of that rich ninja stuff came out. You might have been uh, born broke. I thought you was born broke. Might need to do some uh, heritage um, looking. It's time to step out of your comfort zone. 
and embrace the stuff that's added to you, not subtracting from you. I mean, you gotta do it alone in the words of flies, because flies came up in the energy. Pulling you to make a decision. You can come back to this car thing going broke with that. You understand? Like now, Bill Worker, they said flowers rode his brother wave or vice versa. I thought they were together and I thought they still were together. So be aware of getting the right information. Right? Don't um don't make your commitment based on nobody else. Don't watch that walking in the uh, garden, the last video I uploaded. Walking in the garden. God is with us. He he, he with us. He can show us. He's covering over us now. You watching why they intimidated and when they should be showing you love when they should be nurturing you. Instead, they providing the endless things that you gotta constantly fight and protect yourself, to guard yourself. That's why you can get a one for all the money. I got to get a one for the money. Financial success. You say endless, endless. Endless financial success. Okay. That's why I've been putting them diamond hands, hashtag diamond hands, because that's what we're doing. We holding, y'all. We holding. We holding. You say, why you in this crowd? Energy. Now that you know that uh, more people hate you than love you, and you, that means that you're doing something good, right? You say you got to be able to bring something into reality. It's just, what do you want to do? Are you going to have the courage to do it? That's part of the blessing. Thing. Those songs in your bone, what's the song that's replaying in your head? Is it going to help you make some money? Or is it going to help you go out and do something stupid? Now you bust the window got somebody to Is the song that's in your bone going to help you focus on work? Help you uh, honor your ancestors. Is it going to sustain you? Or is it going to sacrifice everything you've been working for up to this point? It's almost like uh, um, it's beauty for the blessing. I mean, it's blessings for the beauty and it's blessings for the beast. Because it's divine, blessings, karma, and number. What God is to bless you with because of your actions. Real affection right here. Real affection right here. Intimidating from and inspiring others. I'm the only energy, I'm the first wish to feel it. Dream coming true. That's the dream energy. This, this is something uh, beautiful that you in the presence of, and the gene energy is a leap. So the next thing is you leaping into your wish fulfillment. I love that. Wish fulfillment. That is whirlwind, love affair, in one relationship, starting in one, love your first day. Or one might uh, be getting a new home. Somebody, uh, money problems about to be over. Money, uh, money problems be over. You have to, somebody about to receive the highest potential after a long time of not having it. Somebody's about to be stable. Somebody that left or, or felt like they wanted to leave have made a decision and it wasn't worth it. Yeah, they they want to come back and offer you recognize uh sixty plus. They want to come back in and work with you for your clinic, not for you. They might work for you, but the three three make me feel like working together is gonna make the uh relationship and the money good, right? Because you got two plus uh three plus three plus. That's good fun friends and work. That's balancing work and social life. What? Seriously, 
really needed what some people are listening to uh karma for or not you're listening at the work trying to win at our house they go to ace the trip trying to win at our house gamble gamble and uh that's good some of you want to do it yeah, some of you see a new opportunity. Something they have been an offer of love, offer they have been waiting for a long time to reach and reconcile somebody been dealing with somebody for seven years. But uh about to take off. Yeah, it's the first energy to a third you see a soulmate, soul time. Yeah, somebody um but they may have to clear up the trauma for some confusion if they truly you know they do leave you. And you technically will see it if they make a plan. Make a plan, plan, plan. Get ready, get ready, get ready. It's not to be a good uh, acceleration of a divine illusion. Your angel had no problem. You know, stories, somebody cutting off old things, they don't uh, serve them, make a final decision to take the ace of wands and lay down out of it. But they have the burden that they had out of confusion about they too are really working on rebuilding they so poor they turn the office really rebuilding this entire thing they entitled to like if this is you and this is you then yeah they entitled to they just at the beginning of their journey just now becoming unsafe to see sweet when they're about to I like this. Somebody you them or somebody in your energy. You know, that is like this. Yes, this is good. This is not a thing. You can give it to Ain't no pictures in this. This is God. You know, ain't no, usually in the tradition of six of Genesis, it's somebody. Even if it's God, you know, it's somebody you see something kind of this moment. It's just like unexpected money. Like I said, they went out of nowhere. They might be walking down the street and finding a bag of money. Somebody just uh, paying it forward to you. Like these deliberately selfless acts that people are going to just be doing duty because of things that you have done. So don't be shy and don't be, don't be like, no, I don't need it. Yeah, yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. You don't need the three of them because you got a long way to go, a lot of work to do. And it's still the same people to connect with you and uh, pour into you. Remember, this is the time to go with the flow. Time to go with the flow. Let's go with these frogs and this candy. Guide them again. Rejuvenating so you can guide in. Rejuvenating. Oh, okay. It's still the same. Especially with this page of one, uh, you gotta get some passion back. So you're gonna have to just go for it. When he say go, you just gotta be uh, confident, you just gotta be resilient. So when he say go, you gotta take up page of one. Especially if they have something to do with the community, you can't hesitate. You say, if you have something um, that you will uh, do for labor, construction work, or work outside, or uh, some kind of way, um, somebody want to leave the justice system or whatever, um, this would be the perfect time to do it. Or to raise your prices. Some of y'all uh, ain't charging enough. I mean, I ain't charging in it. You said be fearless. Fearless. And get ready. You gotta be better giving that time to give You got the sound track. You can put the sound for a study of the year. You play your role. And the role is to be, be realistic, knowing that you can look to the divine. And he gonna put you in in places where you ain't never been before. You be out and the feelings and sensations and intuition you ain't never had before. That's, that's deep like that. 
But I did get ahead of a hard decision that was going to be uh, need to be made and since we're bridging the gap of the past energy to the new energy. I want to um, pull from the past, the past bit, I want to pull um, past energy versus new energy. Right, so we can bridge the gap so we can move forward because you have to know where you're going. So we have for past, present, past could be distant past, or it could be within the last 30 days. Usually, the I read the energy for the last three days today and three days prior, but they really time it, right? Like I said, you can't be uh, giving five ways of nugget of wisdom. Just because your um, school book was published in 1967 and seven classes usually then they revise the book, that knowledge is still good. So let's see, let's see, uh, pass energy. Connect the, uh, connect the layers. Let's see what, what, what's going on. What's this dwelling? This is lingering. So this is this is lingering. This is lingering energy from the past. It shows what this lingering energy is from the past. I'm quite in love. Not knowing when to fold. Not knowing when to leave. Let's see. Right up under the hearth and the starfish. It's kind of hard because even though they love you, they feel like you're beautiful. I feel like they think you might be a little shallow or you might be a little too artsy. Like, I feel like if it's you or them, somebody uh, feel like they, you need more positive friends. Like lingering energy from the past. Uh, you letting things that um, people said about your relationship in the past continues to linger on. That's the past. So it's like you need to be uplifted. Whoever this was or whatever this was that um, was riding you, making it hard for you, forcing you, uh, being controlling, not giving you any freedom, not showing you off, uh, making you feel empty, not helping you uh, strengthen and go towards your goal. That's probably what's Causing you to want to make the move in the first place. Right? So it can't be. So it can't be. So like, I'm ready to go. This was lingering from the pit. Making you agitated and sleepy. You are them. If they agitated and sleepy, then you already know why. If it's you, then you already know why. That's why it's right here by the coat. Waiting to see what you're gonna do. Now that you know, you know, you know with the horse, your third eye glowing, starfish, you shine and everything being illuminated. But the beauty sleep, you might not be wishing or you sleeping on your steps, staying in the energy that you know you're trying to do. Somebody could uh, have on two chains, the short uh, bob pick. If somebody is covering up that they doubting themselves, and that's the lingering energy that you come from the past self doubt, self fear. The heart spirit is encouraging you to not give up, even though you feel we you feel like you want to give up. Right? Yeah, it's time to express the uh, real you. I, I feel like this is more about you not loving yourself right now. This is like looking in the mirror and not like what you see. And it's lingering instead of healing. Instead of uh, facing, showing the real you, putting energy towards showing the real you. So express yourself. Turn on the camera. Tell them to talk to the hand. Turn on the Yes, you could. Ever love yourself? That's the spirit is saying. You need to be loving yourself. You're waiting to see if you go take the opportunity to love yourself. 
drop flow. You have emotion so you can process it and release. So you can have the ability to be free, free yourself from some kind of thing you need to be freed from. Kind of connection which we need to be free from you can love this means to embrace the full spectrum of love that's the energy of today that you love on different levels well we love with limits that's why that's why the uh page the page of ones is right here because he's loyal like he a visionary he was reliable He's spiritual, he's protecting, he's protecting all what he's saying too. Come on. Come on. Yeah, let's do it again. Are you going to be serious? Not that you know, not that you know that you just know that you know that you're entitled, not that you know that you got a prize waiting for you behind this decision. It's on the other side of this thing. It's on the other side of this feeling, feeling that emotion. Because progress can't take on a whole lot of weight. You just won't go do it if you put too much water on it. I don't know if a frog will die, but I know it ain't going nowhere. It's just going to sit right there. The spirit is saying, you cleanse, forgive, and release. I know in some of my older videos, I did do the, um, the yoni baths, the spiritual baths. So you can go find you a video with a spiritual bath or you can use any description box and just pick the herb or the flowers for you. You definitely take this take this spiritual bath, put them in your water, literally rub it all over you. And the information that I put in it that help you here, that's what you meditate as you're bathing. All right, even if you make it into a tea, that's what you think about. That's what, what you drink it in. Remember water holds memory. Emotion told memory, that's why we gotta cleanse it up. That's why we gotta cleanse it up. If it ain't for us, it ain't for us. Whatever go around this time, no, whatever go, go. Because uh, we, we are for something good. We, everybody can't go. You know what I'm saying? We laying down uh, some stable roots. We laying down some stable roots. Let's see what's going on in this present uh, it's the primary relationship it's in your energy yeah so this is making me it's coming back it's the karma energy, remember. So the person is coming back now, somebody's coming back trying to reconnect with you. Oh, deep emotions for you. You can connect with the ones they love. But with this karmic, is just a feeling. Are you looking at the facts? Is a loop. You say whatever you do, you gotta move towards the soul truth. Because in this leap, uh, with this karmic, you 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 in between the seen and the unseen. This is what you see. I feel like the karma relationship is what you see. I feel like this is uh, old love or what you're in now, and this is new love. Because they red rose, uh, they make me feel like um, renewal, love, healing. Uh, uh, and when I made these things, this new um, relationship, it, 
came right over the screen. So the new relationship would be a good time to get in something new. Right? Whether it's reconciliation and starting something new. But this is an old cycle needs to end. And this is the old cycle. And it flew right up under God's plan. You watch it. Ooh, you better be careful what you do to me. If I'm out and I do it to you, you better be careful what you say to me. If I'm out and I say it to you, if you shoot me, it's really good. Huh. And if you shoot me, it's really good. Or oh, whatever species you are going to find with your body, watch it. You are causing an emotion. They're like waiting to see what the two chemicals is, remember? It's not at the crossroads. What are you going to shoot? What person, place, and thing you will choose? Oh, watch him. I saw you. No. Walking in the room. Okay, you were holding hands and I, I never can say anything. You don't know. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know, um, knowing that somebody is in another relationship and they still don't know if they want to leave or not. And that's why the Lord is sitting there not showing up, not expressing it, so she tightly up. She tightly up. She might be tightly up because she didn't let somebody. Or somebody might be taking a leap. You know, that she's bringing her uh, closer, even though she got her back turned. But if it's time for it, it's going to be saying like somebody has their eyes on whoever this is going to be to make a decision with the lingering stuff on the head. This karma relationship is in God's hand. Whoever been playing and they've been for real, just going round and round, round she goes. I'm talking about is in their thoughts if they have lost some money, lost some people, lost some things, lost some places, some places they can't go no more. Still, guys, you can't allow to do no risk. Remember, the week is free when ain't nobody up the corner. So, if somebody is across all this common relationship, um, I just feel like they're not giving enough attention to the uh, this person over here that's by herself. But if you not get feel like you're not getting enough attention because they already uh, have started something else. And they like it. Six uh one. They like it. They enjoy it over there. Many people know about it, so this kind of relationship is hidden. Kind of relationship with you, and it's just a relationship that they keep running in and out of their life. Whatever it is. Oh, 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 o
Divinely got it. Did I say God? Did I say he said don't nobody move? Don't nobody get hurt. Just stay still and let him do this to you. You try to do anything. I feel sorry for it. It is. It's trying to take a pause and, and honor who or what sustains you and be honest and, and work towards getting strong, especially over this next few days. Good. It's opportunity to be coming. Train to be coming. Train for the train energy is to remember uh, to be ready. Like the angels is ready to be with you. But look, I told you I have nothing. Your health and your finances. Yep. Angel is doing it for you. Three, three on the side. Money, your money, I told you, finances about to be good. Spirituality about to be good. Somebody come in after cold, coming in a home, about to torture, or they love somebody um, coming in to. Looking for somebody with a family with a parents and a parents, man, generations, and the young people. I mean, when God do this thing, he, he's doing this thing. It's kingdom spouses right here. It's people getting over their uh, fears. You got that um, Asian image. That's the uh, contrary. That's getting the total balance, the total peace. That's peace. That's you find peace. That's when you go find. Uh, Money, grace. So that's what uh part of the blessing is. You know how when you say your grace before you eat your food, this is acknowledging God. This is getting closer. Remember, to you come the first part of it. This is acknowledging the head. This is saying I'm about to dominate God. I see that you got me at the top of the head. If you, if you got to bring something into reality for me, this is what this is what you feel about. You need to be quiet about it, talk to him, and follow what he put in your uh, soul to do. Somebody um hungry and thirsty out here got very new ideas, inventions, and all you gotta do is open up um stay in touch with your idea. He's about to breathe life into a unicorn spirit again. He's about to breathe life into his life. His life. The love is his and his life. Cosmic. Cosmic. We've got the cosmic egg. Well, uh, check out the meditation, meditation, and elevation. It's all about the um, uh, energy, the egg energy. The cosmic egg holding on to the thing that brings the yolk. I don't know if I'm going to bring the up. This is all watching. Oh, trust me. Trust and believe. Leash. Never get on me. Leash. Oh, I'm going to give you the truth. I'm going to do what they can do. Oh, trust me. Yeah, I was watching the most beautiful um sunset that ever night. Uh it wasn't even night the sun was still. <laughs> so um we were driving and the sky totally looked like a um it looked like a beach, it looked like a city, like it was on the freeway and then the sky was looking over the sunset and it literally like a beach and it turns on you know like you can see broken waves you it looks like you can see a whole waterfall it was like what I said in the great divine you can see it if you can't see the beauty uh right now you're in the wrong place of mind see that's the head of a heart The first thing you can really believe. How familiar are you to the belief? Do you really believe? 
And I think that's part of this great divide. Right. He got the uh remember he said he got to show people who he's alive. Remember, every new shall about he was to make people really confess that it was God. It was him. It was him. He just didn't come in the form they thought he was gonna come in. They was waiting on him to come uh, out of chariot at the sky. But for some of y'all, he, he shook it and said, the snake to see what you were going to do. He said, in this, in this opportunity, all day, all those tower moments, the ones that came and came the ones that's about to come rest the truth, that wasn't a coincidence. We wanted to know if you were going to be able to uh, control your frustration. We want to know if you were going to be willing to accept the consequences for your ex. We want to know uh, when he do this thing, or you're in the right time that you're going to tell him it wasn't, it wasn't you, it was God to step in. You just have to come with opportunity to receive your highest, to work with your highest uh, potential in your field. As long as you're not shy, as long as you follow instructions, as long as you have bridged the gap, the generation of that, as long as you give thanks for the beauty and the beast. Mm, I like it when they do it. I like when I call you this papa. I got to feel it by me and I see shit change. She said to really get papa. When I call you this papa. I like that. I like that. I like this one. Y'all watching this karmic situation. What's going on? Spirit, show me what I need to see. The, the, frog, the princess, I'm getting the princess and the frog. <laughs> that was a curse. We talked about the uh, blisses and the curses. Because that was definitely a, a, a curse. The princess and the frog. Because remember, she, uh, I guess the frog curse itself got turned into a frog. Oh, the girl was a frog. So it's a feminine energy. This operating in this spot. Uh, okay, come on now, spirit. Break this thing down like a pound. You know, spirit, let car break bed. Make sure you hit that subscribe. Yeah, it's female energy. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, oh, they flying out. It's a lot. Somebody want to know something. You can achieve great things. Take care of yourself. I'm going to put it back because it flew out kind of reckless. Somebody might be being reckless. That's part of the uh, karma in the relationship. They being reckless. That's why I got to watch energy. <laughs> energy, which is the core I mean, uh, yeah, or Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or Liberal One. In that proud energy, cleanse it. That's going towards they go. They have to make a yes. This feminine energy have to make a head over heart. Yes. And that's why you are watching in this karma relationship. And this um, required love. It's all on the feminine energy. It's almost like they walk in the garden. They say Eve bit the apple, or Eve out. Uh, Adam. 
So I feel like uh, the tarantula spirit, the crossroads for the masculine is what are you going to choose? Are you going to choose God's reward and claim your um, life's purpose or feeling energy? Or are you going to have to leave this behind? Because the relationship go on. You go say goodbye. See how she holding on to that fire sign. But for now, it's karmic. Back around. But you got to see the beyond the material um, things. You got to pay attention to your dreams. You know it's time to let it go. What they do. You know, you're supposed to be raw. If you remember, somebody's entitled after it and they slum it. Somebody's slumming. And uh, I feel like uh, the feeling of energy, you're sad about it. You're sad about it. I see you sad about it with them fire. But I see you moving on because I see six, six, six. A triple uh, six is resisting. Like, you know, um, feminine energy, you've been resisting. Resisting temptation, resisting, resisting this person, resisting going backwards and forth, redirecting your mind, your thoughts, your passion. Maybe you embrace the new passion with this fire uh, energy, this dragon energy. Remember, we in the dragon year. Maybe you embracing it. This is just the time. This the year. This the year. Show us what you can see about this. And the twelve. That's so funny. The twelve came out. I know it's gonna be in there because in the energy of the um the Chinese uh the body. Where is it? The times of the organs heal, right? It's a time of recovery, but it's unconditional love, so it says it's time to release for now, right? And that's okay because somebody needs to heal. It was, oh, the 12, where, where I am in the state, it's um, 13 hours. And I put 12 hours in my hour this time. Somebody might just need a year off. Remember, you're watching spirit. Feel like somebody about to get a year off. Like it's time to become a great uh leader. Spirit is saying you protect it. Time for you to become a great leader. Yeah, but you gotta let this thing go. To uh, lead, what is on this current relationship? What is on this current relationship? Little wolf girl, it's all right to be alone. Yeah, it's okay. You got to release thoughts of lack. Remember that five of pentacles energy out here. If you look up, it's all kinds of other people that can help. Remember we talked about going out, lead, uh, uh, being pushed out, and you coming back leading the pack. Well, it might have been a pack out there that um, you went to, and they honored you. They cloaked you. You assimilated. It's somebody out there. It's a tribe out there for you. It's going to be true and blue. It's going to be a ray of sunshine, and it's just going to happen. They're going to accept you. Remember, Spirit is sending us to a place where they accept us and not just tolerate us. So all you have to do is um, receive God's protection. You are a wolf coat. You conquered it. Or you're about to conquer it. And you're going to be able to conquer it alone. For now. Solo and dozo. That might agitate you differently as you Sad. Let me get you sad. I'm not even uh, mad about the being sad part. But what I feel like Spirit is saying, that's why he wants us to do our cleansing. 
do our steam baths, do our body baths, this a holistic healing, letting it heal us on the outside as well as the inside, drinking our tea um, at noon to help revitalize us, taking a class to help us uh, give us something to get excited about again, right? Laying down roots and growing and setting strong intentions. Remember, during this time, you're supposed to be writing it down, making it plain. It's this uh that he wait the wicked flee when no man pursueth but he his righteousness is bold as a lion you a little frog but with God with you who could be against you you really a lion so whatever that you doing as you do your cleansing and meditating right as you um getting your good sleep taking naps and and watching, making sure ain't nobody putting nothing in your food or putting anything in your, your drink to keep you numb, to keep you desensitized, and to keep you from being fully aware. If anybody's doing anything that's not lifting you and, and talking down, that's the next video, talking you to death. People are literally speaking death on you and you accepting it like it is what it is. The Spirit said, if we got to watch what we say about ourselves, show sure need to be watching by what other people say because they really don't want us to have the Roman Empire came out and the Empire part me proud being humble they really don't uh, want you to humble them remember they that's one of the things that intimidated them you humble them your humbleness humble them, but if love beget love, humbleness beget humbleness. And instead of embracing that, they they uh they uh try to break you down for that. It's eliminated now because the consequences is uh God's consequences. Don't know how to move. If you're doing what you're doing, don't make no changes right now. Just continue to love and be honest and be humble and be the wise fool. And take steps to improve yourself. Take a class. Get you some peace and quiet. It's not the time to engage right now. It's the time to write down what you really want and, and decide by this full moon. Well, I don't know, but full moon is significant on this. It's our right to be alone on the 18th. The 18th is the second day. I told you three days. So today, yeah, three days. So. Somebody might be saying uh, goodbye, or somebody said goodbye yesterday. Somebody, the last couple of days, three days ago, somebody could have said goodbye, or somebody could be saying goodbye tonight or in the next three days. The spirits, they, they want you to know it's okay to be at home because that's where the frog spirit come in. This when you're going to be able to dive right in. Spirit, what we need to see for this karmic uh, relationship. Yeah, it's karmic relationship. Yeah, karmic. 29, that's karmic. It says the sacred site. This time alone is go enhance your spiritual gift. That's what he said. The unicorn spirit. Remember, we're supposed to be connecting to back to the divine. And see, we just have to um Disconnect from people that shape shift to see she's not a unicorn. She acting like she posing, she beautiful, but she is an intentress. She is blocking you, or that's a feminine energy. She, a water sign or earth sign, is blocking you from your true soulmate. So spirit is saying, once you separate from this feminine energy, this poser, this frenemy, because it's somebody that's very close to you, once you separate from this frenemy, then the door can be open. You can leave. But this frenemy is distracting you. It's got you looking away from the next step. You focus on the wrong thing. It's almost like they saying, uh, look at that, look at that. But you're supposed to be focusing on what's right in front of you. This is supposed to be, it's really, it's supposed to be inspiring people to take the leap into something new. I think I'm 
Um, a true blue friend, a true intuitive friend, a true friend with an open heart, a true friend is wise and determined to help you be free and to help you speak and see the truth to point you towards your next opportunity. Help you face your fears head on and not talk you out of it. And not talk you out of it. Today, karma. For the next two to eleven days, the rose fever came back. And again, so that tree, karma, rebirth, and connection. Be aware of jealous friends. Be aware of people acting like. They so in distress, they need your help. They just trying to come in between your relationship. They trying to come in between your money. People big. Remember your friends is affecting your finances for some of y'all. But this is once you uh, say goodbye, once you get at peace with being by yourself, once you separate from people that's acting like they're your friend and they are nothing like you, then that's when you're going to have that calm when you start to uh, be able to express yourself individually and express, uh, embrace it. Remember, Spirit said, Spirit said, make it personal. This personal right here, because they took you for granted. That's why he done stood in. That's why he endowed you uh, with your spiritual gifts, helping you to be aware or leading you here so I can help you uh, be aware right because you you believe but you got to know it and that's what we do that's what we do that's what i do on this channel i help you knowing that we are spiritual beings having a natural experience knowing that all things are connected knowing that he said if we ask we're gonna get the answers right if you ask me i'll tell you waking us up i help help you help you wake up It's a rebirth, a time for you to connect with the earthly and the spiritual, with the natural and your ancestors. Remember, he said it's a time to be conscious of your body, your carnal thoughts, what you sense, your instincts, and your material possessions. Bring that all together for the whole so you can have a rich, impactful life with um, a plenty of experiences, all those leaves and branches, plenty of experiences that are important. That's what spirit wants us to do. Consider the trees. Consider what's important. Consider your roots. Consider what you really connected to. Consider is if it's blocking your light. Or if it's adding shade, helping you in hot situations. If you connected to reliable people, or if you connected to flakes, people that keep on breaking promises. Spirit wants you to leap into something that you can be comfortable in your home and a comfort to others. I love that energy. Vows. Yeah, Spirit said he just to finish. <laughs> he just to finish the work. Some people just to get some lessons, and some people just to get some blessings. Okay? You understand me? The whole lesson and blessing of it all. Now, let's see. What about this person over here that's unrequited? This single is sufficient. She ain't got nobody. She ain't worried about nobody. Go watching her too. Go watching her and somebody else watching her too. I feel like two people watching her. Two people find her alluring. Somebody, yeah, two people find her alluring. I'm getting earth energy and fire energy. 
and water energy. So it's a single person with like three choices out here. Okay. Okay. Hold up. Somebody that ain't going to never give up. Somebody that's going to lift you up. And somebody that it could go either way. They probably, uh, somebody that's younger for sure. Mm. And they might be from your hometown. Or you might be from the year, theirs. Mm. Who got the juice? Trust it. Look at that. Y'all just see me show for all those times. Trust and faith. Still. What you putting your faith in? Because remember, we moving from um believing to knowing. And this is the time. If you really been on your journey, then this is a time to see wonders. And if you are just new to this journey, and if you believe, then you will see journeys that make you go ahead and submit, surrender to God's plan. But if you impatient and you don't know if you really believe or not, then you're going to be left wondering. And I feel sorry for you. Wisdom as light as a feather. Okay. Miss Spiderweb, reconsider your alliances and make new connections. So you got three options. Three, three, three. Uh, I feel like that's telling you to, as you make these decisions, because those three options that I brought up, you got the earth sign, you got the water sign, and you got the fire sign. I feel like um, that it says reconsider your alliances, and that's under the energy of that for all. Remember to sit back, write um, your line energy, right? Being patient, seeing who inspires you or seeing who is intimidating you. Um, it, it's almost like paying attention. Remember, giving thanks for the beauty and the beast. But it's a great choice out here. Somebody is saying, if this world were mine, they give you the flower, the trees. Okay. Hold on, man. It's somebody that under this frog energy now. If somebody say they um they want to give you the flowers, the birds and the bees, the flowers and the trees. Somebody, this is a reconciliation. Somebody that may have mistreated you before, want to come back because that was the underlying energy. They Where they come from, right? Because you have a, a beautiful person that's attracted to you that uh, you probably know through a mutual friend. Then you got a young person that's uh, attracted to you, but it can go either way because they're young. They could be unreliable. Then you got a strong person out here that said they ain't going to never give up, right? They don't want you to be free. And they're going to forever be stalking and riding you. And that's their horse and energy. So they willing to go the long way. But it's a tree out here. And I think trees outlive horses. I don't know. But I know uh, it's somebody out here that want to reconcile. They want to rebirth. They want to connect strong earth energy. It says earthly and spiritual. So uh, I do see the tree and the uh, cover. This is strong. Gemini strong earth energy. So, okay. Come on now. Speak, spirit. Speak to me. Speak to me. Spirit said, but this feminine energy got to cleanse, forgive, and release. You can't go into the new world undernourished and holding on to baggage. Remember, we supposed to be in letting go of the baggage. Uh, they, go watch that Walking in the Garden video. It's a, actually a great video. God is with us. Um, let's see what else we got about this wisdom. It's light as a feather. That means that your heart is pure. Your heart is true. Right? You got a spirit, guys, that's right there with you. That you talk. You probably walking in the garden. God is talking with you, dropping knowledge on you all the time. You probably ain't even thinking about your love life. It's on the back burner because it's right beside the moon card. But it's somebody you connected to that is and it says that you need to get out and make connections because the connections that you got, some of them are not the best choice. Remember, you got this young one that's unreliable. He can be replaced. 
right? This stalker, they can be replaced. They still leave you with um two two uh two persons. They leave you with the star. The person that's go uh, uplift you probably have a platform or really is a star, a professional or something. Then you have this Gemini energy with this Cobra uh, energy. Somebody that's patient, that's taking their time. They could be a spiritual uh, guide as well, right? Somebody that if you meet them, you might think they're a know-it-all. And it's not that they know it all. They just have a lot of information. And because they like you, they're sharing it. It's not that they know it all. They just may know a lot. They just want to share it with you. Right? That's a blessing. And a lesson at the same damn time. The best of both worlds. Come on, man. Get enthusiastic. Spirit say, the frog spirit say, get enthusiastic. Deep, dark sea, mermaid. Find solutions in the unknown places of the darkness. See, being alone, that's what's uh, going to allow you to see what's real, right? Spirit is saying this is the energy that we can make a sincere effort to move forward, right? And those ones that's not trying to make a sincere effort to move forward to leave you in a dark place, then they don't need to be there. They're not trying to build a strong bond, right? And half them probably go be lying. With their uh, one and their six. Yeah. I'm getting somebody. Uh, oh, I'm getting somebody. A uh, friend coming out of a dark place. A breakup is unrequited love. If somebody is leaving somebody or got left. And they've just been single for a while. I feel like somebody you're going to bump into somebody out the blue. It's going to be an emotional uh, bond. Look, you can achieve great things. That bad, out of the blue, that bad spirit is somebody coming. It's like you bumping into somebody. You're like, uh, oh, you might be startled a little bit. But yeah, after you, uh, after the pain, baby, it's like you're supposed to be reborn with a new love. After the pain, we see that. We talk about it. Somebody, oh, yeah, somebody. You might meet them through a brother, right? Or it could have been somebody you used to call brother because that's the thing. You know, what's up, bro? What's up? Somebody will give you a soft place, to, a safe place to go. And I feel like that's where you're going to uh, meet this person. Look, after sadness, hope. And happiness return. That's what it said in the uh vision. It's look, you're gonna get new skills, new training, that class. You might meet somebody in that class. I'm telling you, safe place to go. You might meet somebody at the library. Um, somebody might be in security, somebody uh that you've been knowing for a while from childhood, somebody that you've been thinking about, that you um been wanting to uh make a leap with. But look, the frog princess is here. In the frog, and they looking uh, directly at each other. So, like I said, it's either uh, somebody in a relationship with somebody they don't want to go. That it's a mismatch communication, or this is your spirit guide trying to nudge you towards a certain place, stepping out of doubt, actually pushing you actually trying to transfer you to a new energy. Actually trying to help you lay down your roots, set some good intentions. The intentions that you set, um, they want to see where they start coming up. They want you to see that. They want you to see the elegant power. You might uh, feel like a frog, but you really on the inside is elegant, graceful. You got flavor. Spirit wants you to get your energy back. Be bright again, bringing honor to your ancestors, your craft, and you is what's gonna help to bring your glow back. And this is glow up, you're the year for you to put your foot on their neck to get spirit say so you can get you some RSPCEC TZ. Yeah, yeah, it's manifestation time, and spirit say that you can achieve tangible results, and that's all we got was um, seemed like. Coins in the beginning, right? It's like now you're independent and free. 
What are you waiting on? You're independent and free. 32. Somebody had to take a step back. Remember that 33 card came out. So I have to take a step back. But it's going to be for a fortunate change. And remember, it's okay to take a step back. It's going to be sweet. The time for you to take care of yourself. Remember who you is. Right? Remember who you is. And guess who is guided by? The blessing. The blessing. So I'm going to call out a couple of signs for both sides. Let's see who on the naughty list, who on the nice list. Let's see who on the naughty list, who on the nice list. Who on the naughty list, who on the nice list. Yeah, I'm doing uh, many readings, but I like to wait to the end of the collective and then i like for you to be a subscriber and hit that thumbs up for sure. And I'll definitely pull your card. It's what I'm made for. Yes, y'all know I'm no arcana angel. You know I'm spirit-led, cornbread fed. You know how we do it in the South. We like to feed everybody. If I eat, I want you to eat. I make enough for everybody. And God cook enough for everybody at this time. Say the knowledge shall be promised. For the one that wants the knowledge, but the one that don't want to get no understanding, it's going to be prolonged. So let's pull a couple of signs. Uh, God is with us. This crossroads, this decision, this choice. God is waiting for this karmic to um, move. Let's pull on this karmic relationship. Who's, this? Who's in this karmic relationship? I might need to make a choice. Spirit, show us what we need to see. Please and thank you. Show us who we need to see. Anybody else? Anybody else? Okay. Out the muscle, uh, Queen of Wands. So, you know, that's Leo. Queen of Wands, that's Leo energy. Can you see that? Queen of Wands, Leo energy. Definitely need to make a choice. Then, like, they need to make a, um, a physical choice about a physical move or something. Queen of Wands is in the underlying energy, though. We got a uh, Gemini energy, Eight of Swords, something, um, a choice about merging, coming together with somebody. Um, we got Cancer energy. This is uh, energy of uh, priorities. Somebody needs to choose. What they gonna prioritize first, and what they gonna put to the side, right? Somebody's gotta prioritize what hold the real power, what um, bring real depth to the situation, how they can get the most uh, uh, out of their thoughts. We got the King of what's this? King of Cups. King of Cups. I think uh, King of Cups is. Um, cancer, King of Cups is cancer energy. Okay, cancer need to make a decision, probably in people, places, and things. What you want to do for fun, how you want to relax, enjoy yourself, where you want to go, even what friends you want to hang out with, right? Who who do you love, right? But that's eight of swords, that's definitely a crossroads, mental crossroads, and a two of cups connection. Priorities, soulmate, a soul. That's why spirit is urging you to go towards your soul's journey. Don't resist, right? Take time to reflect, write it down, and then wait on it. Uh, you got the king of uh, wands right here. The king of wands. So you got um, a divine partnership that need to make. Uh, um, and this is Aries. So this is Aries and Leo energy. A uh, divine partnership or two people holding those leadership and financial uh, abilities. Yeah, got options. May have had a whirlwind experience 
or you might be somebody might be rushing in to have a whirlwind experience with you. Two plus six, six plus eight, five ones, or somebody coming in to um cut off a whirlwind experience with that five of pentacles, three of pentacles, somebody not giving enough, or somebody rushing in to say they want to work on it because they wasn't giving enough. I don't know. Queen of Pentacles. Um, Queen of Pentacles is Taurus energy. Uh, Queen of Pentacles, Taurus energy. Um, that's that other decision. Seem like it's head over heart. Um, could be about home. Could be about work. Um, we got energy of travel out here. Uh, money. Remember, it's time to kind of hold back on the spending because we are moving into a, a different direction. Um, it could be who you want to give your love. You might have met somebody new and you're resisting your partner after a breakup. Because remember, unrequited love was out here. After somebody did you wrong, left you hanging, you might meet somebody new. Yes. Nine of Cups, Pisces energy. Wish fulfillment. Dream coming through. This is that gen energy. Making sure you're staying bright. Making sure you're showing honor. Making sure you're showing up. Right, and uh, telling the truth with being tender about it, but this is taking a leap. This is also somebody that you don't know taking a leap towards you as well. Just that uh, karmic energy. Let's see what's going on in this um, unrequited or somebody that's single. This is somebody single, not dealing with nobody, they already been, been cut off. They just still holding on to the feelings. Spirit, what is it? Who, who is coming towards the single people? Because we got new love out here making new friends. Who are these new friends we need to be making? Who are these new friends we need to be making? Definitely uh, in our social circle, maybe reconnecting to our cousins or uh, classmates. That's our peer group. That's our aunties and uncles. But I mean, love, we ain't gonna love our like aunties and uncles, which you might in the last video said we might meet somebody through, and this is the socializing card. So you might go to a um get together, a reunion, family reunion did come out. Um, uh, so you might get together at a family reunion, or even a school reunion came out, and it says to talk to people that you haven't talked to in a while. So let's see who else that's uh cancer energy. We got Virgo energy, Eight of Pentacles could be uh somebody that you work with or you meet at work or you meet through a work friend, right? Somebody could be crushing on you at the job, Eight of Pentacles, somebody you've been knowing for a while, at least eight years, Nine of Wands. This is somebody that think like you. This is somebody that um. This is somebody that is wise. This is somebody that's reconnecting to spirituality, taking the ace of ones. This is somebody that's been through a lot and they ready to reclaim their happiness. They working on their happiness. So they probably very uh, protective, right? Um, yeah, see, they probably very protective. It could be somebody that just got out of uh, prison, you know, just trying to come back up, working hard, eight pentacles. But eight pentacles, that means they build a nine- Ones that means they completing old cycles. Uh, three of cups just mean they just not as fun as you would like. But nine pentacles, this is a successful single person that is just ready to get past the heartbreak. They have been through a lot of heartbreak, and this new opportunity that's coming in for you might be very the very thing that help them get over it, get back into life. Look, the two of uh, pentacles, the master builder. Uh, this is planning, plotting, and having my priorities straight. Okay, new person. Yes, they was working on this for a while, though. Um, if they have been uh, working on this, um, I feel like over the last six months, over the last six months, or you might meet them. And I'm going to pull a time record, see when you go meet them. But over the last six months, I feel like they've been healing. They said, yeah, separated from a um, relationship. Somebody was given to more than one person in the household, and it caused somebody to move on. But they haven't moved on in their mind. They've only moved on in the physical. 
So that's no bueno. You got to cut it off if you want to win at all costs. Period. Because she, if they sit on your mind, that's still like cheating. Right? A mental relationship. That's like having a work boss or a work husband. Okay, spirit. Show us what um that almost made me mad. I done lost uh what I was just say. What are we supposed to be looking at? Cause we called the signs. Oh, I moved it off the table too fast. What was I supposed to be looking at? Oh, when the next, when the new person's coming in. Yes, when this Ten of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, somebody that's uh, ready to give their love. Oh, wish fulfilled. I feel like once it gets started and progressed, it's already at the Eight of Pentacles. So it's almost like, um, it's almost, it's wish fulfillment already. It's like 10 10 energy. Oh, yes, I love it. Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. A true, uh, productive relationship that you can have, that you can hold. And it's the comeback. It's the comeback. Let's see when you go meet this new person. Let's see. Where is. Oh, my timing deck. Timing day is the timing. Third card is the timing card. Card spirit show us what we need to see about this new love experience that you're saying is going to be rich. That you said you are guiding us to. You said we don't have to do nothing but our everyday routine, take care of ourselves, you know, treat ourselves. Something is about to be born. Yes, something sacred. That's going to honor the past. Spirit said, remember to remember the song in your bone. Remember the song in your bone. Something about April 19th. Don't choke. Don't choke on April 19th. I don't know if it has something to do with candy food because food did come out. Or don't hold back on your words. Third course, time record. What is this new love? When do we need to be on fleekity fleek 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 so we can be ready? Third court is the time record. One, two, okay. Okay, okay. Three. Oh, on the 24th, you might bump into somebody. Two to four days. Six days. Two to four days is right around the uh, time. And when Spirit said, if you drop yourself out of it and just live your life, then it's a positive energy coming up in there. Yeah, on the 17th, it said, if you believe in yourself, then it's a positive event on the way. Okay. Something that's refined. Spirit said, that's why he wants you to be prepared for it. Because something's on the way. If it's not on the way by the 17th, they give you two weeks to the 24th to prepare or something like that. I think uh, the ghetto nun having a prayer event around that time, too. It's protecting. Remember, spirit, the bird is the spirit. It's leading you. All that you have to do is rest. Make your mind up. And go for the ride. Divine intervention. You definitely being led and guided into this new relationship. Spirit said one where your understanding gonna be nurtured, your feelings gonna be nurtured, your uh, consciousness gonna be nurtured. You're gonna be able to work through problems. Um, it, it's just gonna be certain. That's what he said. But you gotta let yourself be free. Free from those thoughts that you're holding from the old relationship. Look, you got two. The new beginning. The new door is right here. But this is the pause, right? We on still on this side. So this that frog spirit rejuvenated because we can't take the old life, the old problems into the new life. This is the time to shed 
make sure you check out the walking in the garden video because it was all about the shedding even when we're not ready but if we want what god got for us if we want to go from out in the cold into something warm and positive and and beautiful and oh and hot i'm hearing it's hot on this side i'm hearing it's hot and sacred and it's gonna be some support it's gonna be like sanctuary mm. seriously it might happen fast but you gotta stay focused focus on the main thing embrace the full love of expression remember what you're supposed to be focused on yourself being honest and setting strong intentions because wherever God is uh, leading you to, he wants you to be ready. Emotionally balanced. Remember, with that um, frog energy in the rain, it's about to be an emotional overload. And you got you are on the road to success. It's right in front of you. Road to success is right in front of you. So you got to be wise. You got to step out of the doubt. Because you're being guarded to do better. Okay, rolling down the street, smoking in though, sipping on gin and juice. Yeah, rolling down the street, enjoying the presence of God. Sipping on the gin, sipping on the glow, uh, the glow. Taking in the leap, little by little. Enhancing your performance. Letting go of weed them out, weed them out, carry them out, usher them out. Spirit say he doing it and he doing it alone. And you going from the five to the six and ain't nothing stopping you from 4-4, four, four, their blessing. 4-4 four, four mean blessings is on the way. 4-4 four, four mean you will be loved and supported. Or if you get a feeling that you love and supported. No, we acting our facts. There's got to be too many facts to be fish. We, we going on what we know, not what we feel. What his spirit is guiding us to do. What spirit is guiding us to join to. Spirit say the only thing that's stopping us between security and a and a, a and a self-learning experience, which is the blessing. Is a feeling. The only thing stopping us from financial success and new inventions and creativity. It's feelings, it's bonds that we done made. It's having our minds in the wrong places, interested in the wrong things, partnering up with the wrong people, uh, learning on the learning the wrong things. Living a double life, one foot in, one foot out. Tower moment after tower moment. The spirit say he to put us with the right thing, uh, the right spirit, the right love, give us the right mind, and, and give us the right uh, one overall. And he ushering into us a new life of growth. This taking over the world. We go through the world. The definition of my brother, you got to feel this, my sister. This is being patient. This is growth all, all of a sudden, growth and profit. This is saying, remember, Spirit said, don't move, don't take no big risk, don't do nothing. <laughs> There's some changes about to be made. Successful changes, people moving. 
People money. People just get money. I tell you, it's the inventor out here. People about to get money from new jobs, new inventions. Um, they go about to talk you out your uh, invention. They'll try to talk you out of it because they don't see the uh, bigger picture. That's because that's they uh bad. Yeah, they hating. They want it. Look, seven uh, uh jealous, jealous. Want what you got. Trying to use energy to stop you from getting your uh, ten of pentacles. Changing your new image from uh, changing your reputation. It's people out here want to keep you stuck. Yeah, it's people want to uh, keep you stuck. Don't want you to cross over. Don't want you to be nothing. They see you something and they trying to stop it. Man, I hate this. I hate this. Seven of Wands again. That we got that in the beginning. Hold your own. Stand your ground. Some of your inner strength. I know some of y'all feeling like quitting right now. Or you or them, somebody feel like quitting on you. But Spirit said, take it personal. You got to stand up. This is you personal. I see seven, 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 seven. It means take it personal. Yeah, remember, Spirit already told us, do it for you. He's standing in the gap for you. He took it personal when they did. Remember, you belong to him. So when they had uh, did what they did against you, trust and believe that uh, he going to take care of his. So let me pull a little oracle and get out of here. I cooked a little some some, and I want to eat a little some some before I um cleanse and lay it down. Let's pull. Let's pull on the um, blessings of the lion. Let's pull first for Dharma, the good, the karma, and let's pull for um, the beauty sleep, God's favor and protection. And it's specifically overnight and from people that's trying to do harm with your food. People that's trying to charm you. And just uh, bluff you up. Trying to play with your head. They came out in the energy. People trying to uh, play with your head. So let's see. Spirit shows what we need to see for Dharma. Shows what we need to see for Dharma. Karma. Shows what we need to see for Karma. Let's see. Shows what we need to see for Beauty Sleep. Companionship. He ushering in a real love, uh, something unstoppable. This God's favor and protection. Bridging the gap. Bridging the gap. This is choosing a partner. Choosing a mate, companionship, one way or the other. Ooh, yes. We got worth, refrain, and right action. Just remember, this gift that's coming that God is sending you, you deserve it. You deserve it. Whether uh, you did only what you do for him will last. So just know you deserve it. Inner power. So I step to, that's what he said. It's all about us. That's personal. Right now, it's personal. For your personal peace. Your personal peace. Look at that line. Right now, he uh going for it. Right now. Yes, come on, Lion of Judah. Right now. Right now is the right action. It says, let everything that want to go, go. Let everything that want to leave and know your worth. Because you have been worthy and you belong. I told you, you are entitled. And don't worry, because look at all those gifts that's coming. You see? Yeah, it ain't just one gift. You've been through a lot. You've got to be repaid as soon as you surrender and, and free yourself. You've got to repay, be repaid. Everything you had to clear out is going to be expanded by source. 
And that's okay. going to rake a lot of people up seeing you receive and how you stood in your power. And that's what's going to be the extraordinary thing, the sign that they need to come in so that they can invite help. See, they can get help. You the catalyst. You the divine. You the vibe. You set the atmosphere. Let's see. On this Dharma, trust. Allow the divine to give you the deepest longings that you know because you know how to handle them. That thing that you pray for, that you wanted to change, that thing in yourself or, or in your family. This is transformation, that butterfly energy. That's the orange, that's sacral um, chakra energy, right? This is opening your heart to creativity and sexuality, right? This is, this is being true to yourself. And trust that the divine going to take care of you and connect you with those this other ones just like you. All you got to do is receive the change that's part of the line blessing. Giving thanks for the transformation, receiving the transformation. <laughs> Spirit say you got to be complete. Let's see what's this karma about. Oh, your intuition and deepening. It says each person's road to the inner self is ex extraordinary and personal. How liberating to listen to the inside and sense moment to moment. I told you somebody was going to need to make a head over heart decision in this karmic relationship. Once you are on earth for enough lifetimes, your soul will begin to long for non-grasping detachment and surrender they bring the peace of god so whoever is trying to cling on to you in this karmic uh, re, uh relationship somebody's clingy right somebody trying to um lay down roots spirit is saying trust your heart your heart is seeing it they came out in the um what what was the energy of trust in your heart god's favor but it was your heart it was something specifically about the head over heart hold on just give me a second and um i'm gonna find it because that was significant and i thought i marked it so that i can go back to it head over heart over her. I want to find it in these notes because I wanted to see. Oh, dominating your per your personal will, right? Head over heart. So don't out talk what's in your heart, what you know. Trust your instincts about this karmic. You you being protected. You bear it before. This black cat. I mean, it's a cat, so it could be a protector. But it's a um, excuse me, a, a feminine energy. This this karmic has a, a shadow side. I got the hiccups. I gotta look that up to see what that means. But okay, let's see what um what is do karma, dharma, and new love. Energetic clearing. Did I tell you you got to clear some stuff out if you go have that real love, that real uh vision. Make yourself beautiful because again, go take care of yourself, have courage to step out, right? Once you get comfortable with yourself and then home with yourself. You'll get home, you'll be at home with others. Others will take you more sincere and be thankful for the opportunity. Be thankful uh, that you still got something in the cup to off, right? But be thankful and you on the right path. This new person, there's a plan far beyond what you can see. You got to see through your fears. 
through your fear. It said that new person was going to have some elegant power. It was part of God's plan. I love it. Now I'm about to go and eat. I hope you enjoyed the video. Say your grace before eating. That's part of the uh, blessing. Um, the lion's blessing. Say your grace. And and, and and transform your life. Right? Transform your life. Spirit so said, focus on maintaining balanced life so you can bring something in reality. Remember, be honest and true during this time and put forth sincere effort and start by writing it down, making it plain. Habakkuk 2 and 2. Write it down, make it plain, and wait on it. Leave it alone and just one step at a time. And it's going to open up for you. You just got to be ready to receive. Be easy on yourself. Till next time. Namaste. Now, did anybody want, uh, um, uh oh, excuse me, I can't even uh, cross my leg. Did somebody want me to pull that card? Before, um, you know, you got to get your question down before I um, get through picking up these cards. Once I finish picking up these cards, I'm off. So I'll wait. I love putting your cards. That's what I'm here for. That's why I need your subscriptions. Got a giveaway coming up. We, um, get it. We're moving into our, we have moved into our fourth year. And uh, I got a giveaway coming up, but I, my I schedule this has been a busy spring. So the um, plush, the lady that was on the last giveaway, if you go back and check uh, my giveaway video, all you gotta do is type in, go search my channel and type in giveaway to pull it up. But um, I did a three day long video, a uh, three day long giveaway, three different days giving away the stuff. So. I look forward to it this year. I don't think I'm going to do three days. I don't know. I didn't know I was going to do three days. That, that's how I mean to look good. You know, you can't beat them giving. It was just so many great. Uh, maybe if some of my new subs, uh, subscribers um, have a chance to win, my old subscribers could tell them about the great prizes that I gave away. Versace cologne, bottles of wine, bracelets, decks of cards. I mean... It was awesome. That's why I'm excited. I've been being patient, you know, doing the work I need to do to receive my blessings. So I, I, but you, we had to go through the lesson first. That's it. You know, people doing work. Now people about to get paid for the work that they've been doing on this. So, um, let's see. Okay, now see, I mixed these up and I was not trying to do it. Okay. So, who want that card read? Who want that card read? You gotta drop it in the comment before I get up out of here. Why well, separate this big? Who want that card read? I'll pull your card. Women lie, men lie, but numbers don't lie. Who want to know the truth? Who can handle the truth? Is it karma? <laughs> ah, you can't handle the truth. Because y'all know I'm going to pull that cord. You know these cords don't lie. Divine energies. We got favor. But the question is, all of that, or you go hesitate to choose God's reward, or you go be agitated with life and, and, and miss your miss your reward, you know. You don't want to miss your reward. You don't want to miss your blessing. That's my whole uh, theme of my life right now. Not missing my blessing. Baby, I don't want to miss my blessing. I don't want to miss it. I'm not going to miss it. Ain't, go, ain't no, don't want to. I'm not going to miss my blessing. I put that on my mom and everything I love. I'm fighting like Kung Fu Flight, just like the energy of the last dragon. 
the uh, spirit said we was in. I'm fighting like Kung Fu Fighter. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I hope y'all enjoy my videos. I love the feedback. I love the emails. Thank you for the support, monetary, the cash app. Everything is in the description box. The private readings, those are the best. I was told that I don't do um, private readings like anybody else in the tarot land. So if you haven't got a private reading by me yet, do that. You know, I'm your favorite tarot reader, favorite tarot reader. Who is reneging? Somebody reneging on something. Let's see. Let's see. Somebody reneging on something. Let's see. Let's get a couple of these. This is my Oracle deck. I'm in the middle of getting a publisher. I hope you enjoy it. Be honest. You can tell me. You can be honest. I can take it. We just breaking ground here. We on in the fourth year. So we uh breaking ground here. We breaking ground. Let's see. What else? Show us what else we need to see. Anything else from my tarot deck? This is my auntie deck. Divine Dime. This is my auntie deck. Divine Dime. You might be getting a gift. Oh, Divine Dime. Divine Dime. And thank you, Spirit. One more go around. Spirit say, one more go around. One more go around. Okay, we got L. Oh, we got a sugar mama, a sugar baby, or a sugar daddy. Okay, 11 11. One, one. They happy in the relationship, but um, it's a stranger. I feel like if it's a sugar mama, sugar daddy, or sugar uh, somebody, it ain't nobody that you um know. So we got Arkansas. Arkansas. Arkansas, Arkansas, somebody needs to refrain. A divine dime, it came back out. You tall, somebody tall, somebody telling tall lies, somebody um getting a gift. Oh, it could have something to do with electrics or it could just cause a spark between y'all. Japan, Japan came out um in the reading i did a uh reading i gotta do um edit it so i could put it on tiktok on my tiktok channel we gotta see we gotta see somebody about to see somebody renege on something we gotta run away we got a beautiful vacation somebody going to the airport somebody about to flu somebody out we got south dakota we got somebody putting on the show a cat, it could be a male uh, that like jazz, or it could uh, be a pussy, a scared person. But it's because I think they going through a change or something. So check on your strong friends. We got the ancestors uh, looking out for us. Pee, somebody adding a little spice to their pee. I don't mind somebody, you know, they all years, the ancestors is helping you with these building blocks because they know that you are all theirs. This is classic classic you have to be in a different class your money is good three three somebody is jealous though you about to have somebody under distress three 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 somebody um is about to be mad because your core uh the side piece side piece about to be mad because your core values about to be um somebody core values a little secret there was a square that was causing problems three 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 Somebody is putting actions into plan that match up with their values. Somebody want a whole new life. Somebody's name could be Nunu, but uh, somebody could live in South America. Somebody could have uh, SA in their background. Uh, Doughboy, that's somebody get some money. Or somebody last name Baker, it could lit literally be a baker. Get your shine on inside and out. So if somebody puts to go ham. This new person might be physical ham about you. They um about to be out. Somebody's out terrain. They're gonna be in it, out in it to win it. Okay, above and below. Somebody got the uh initial H, first, last, middle initial. It say this is not that five five five. So whatever you was thinking, don't shy away from it because 
whatever you was thinking, it's not that. Don't shy away from it. Be gentle and embrace it. We got Georgia. We got Georgia. Listen to the music and dance like ain't nobody looking. Right? Pay attention. You got a music uh, message in the music. We got G. We got just get her if you can. Just get to me by car, plane, or a train. Okay? Somebody uh, is real sensitive right now art district we got artists creators they real sensitive to think they did come out uh mystic sensitive mystics for sure so if you're an artist you could be getting um sensitive snippy agitated but um i feel like you need to do your breathing work and do your cleansing work your steam baths your soaks uh your beauty sleep going to sleep within those certain hours cleansing forgiving and diving in and that's how you go overcome and get that confidence and not be as sensitive like indy look like indiana jones like somebody man could be jones you at a divine why point though uh big brother is watching all eyes on you because you got the juice baby you got the juice you add the flavor you add the energy you the one um that they're trying to extract energy from because you the one that enhance people's performance. You the one. Social media, uh, you might have a social media platform. Are they watching you on social media? Uh, M or W. I want to go with the W. I want to go for the win on social media. want to keep your mind on your grind. 2-2, two, two, the master builder. Dharma, we, okay, we on the good side of it. The universe is blessing us, y'all. The universe is about to flood in a whole whole lot um let me see what is t t is on the back that's two yeah uh he about to flood in a whole bunch of things we interested in he about to flood in bonds connections he about to flood in a whole bunch of things that uh partnerships uh remember tower moment tower moment too so it's floods in both ways uh two wrongs yeah two wrongs don't make a right and it ain't it, it ain't wrong two lefts ain't right it ain't wrong but two lefts ain't right so somebody did something to somebody look karma that's that karmic uh relationship then did something to somebody but two wrongs don't make no right somebody gotta do the right thing somebody gotta keep their chin up somebody gotta pick up the pieces or somebody get picked up late or somebody need to put something down Michigan, it made me feel like somebody missing somebody again, and they want to rehabilitate their mind, or they have rehabilitated their mind, so they won't miss it again. You hear me? Somebody having an uh-oh moment. That's one of them terrible moments. Could be from Australia, but it could be something. When I get that Australia card, I'm thinking of boxing, kangaroo, somebody trying to jump over something, or somebody causing resistance, somebody frustrated, somebody fighting. And this somebody getting popped in their mouth all of a sudden. Uh-oh. Spaghetti, yo. Mudslide. Yeah, a bunch of shit about to come out. A bunch of shit happening. Mudslide's about to just keep going and going on. And somebody supposed to have to eat some shit. Just like in that uh, movie, The Help. So be aware. Uh, New Mexico is at her. And we got country we got outside we got for the streets somebody from the country or the city they're gonna be outside and then somebody gonna be just for the streets outside but then the last card the most powerful card it says love is patient love is kind love does not envy love is not proud it does not boast it is not self-seeking it is not rude it does not what it say? It does not uh, rejoice in wrong. It does not rejoice in wrong. It doesn't uh, doing it is not arrogant in doing it. They don't diss others. Um, honor. They uh, not easily agitated. Not easily angered. Eleven, eleven. This is a gateway. It says it keeps no record of wrong. Power. This is the one of the last cards of the deck. The lion blessing. Right? True blue. 
you can catch these rays, catch these hands, or catch these elves. Go watch that video. I'll try to link it. Until next time, y'all, be aware karma can be sweet as a cookie, but it can also be oh so crispy. Some cycles got the end. So some things that have potential can uh, start. It said, ain't nobody going to be mad but the devil. So don't even play with the devil, y'all. Be humble and be kind. Remember, it, doing it for clout for you will be good right now because the main thing is the main thing. You want to come up. You about to hurry up and come up, baby. Pay up. You can tip me the art kind of angel at Cash App. Or kind of angel. I'd appreciate it. In the distant horizon, I work hard for y'all. And uh, I love doing it at the same time. Say, so give it away. This has been a powerful wake up call straight up. It has been sassy. And we doing it for the rehabilitated thugs, y'all. The rehabilitated true heroes under God, the G's, the 333 powerful wake up call. Nothing else to be said except be best. And remember, don't move, don't get hurt. Namaste.